are out there and uh, promote our brand and the products that we are offering. Um, then we come to me, which is the market development department, which is here in Prague, and we are responsible for creating a solid marketing pipeline. What that means is that we will try to keep the interest of the people of, concur uh, of the need for travel and expense, travel and entertainment management, and we're going to try to see their pain and their interest in our product. So we want to, um, we will be at the beginning of the sales cycle, but we won't actually um, uh, sell anything to them. We're just going to try to keep their interest in their pain. That's how market development fits into marketing. And how all that fits into sales is that we help generate the sales revenue. So once we initiated that interest, once, once we found their pain and their problems, we then send that over to the sales department who are then uh, following up on the interest that we, we found. And they are going face to face meetings and they are um, uh, trying to um, basically close the deal. They're trying to get us more customers to occur. How we do that is um, a different method. Um, these are some of the graphs they're explaining, but we are very much focused on the verticals, which are different industries that we are going after. We're trying to, to see what they have in common, how they have some travel and transmanagement. Phone is a big thing for us, uh, that's how we reach people more effectively. And then the quality, really providing sales to people who are, who are going to buy from us, who are going to go and go. By the way, as I mentioned in the beginning, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. Uh, and stop relax. So, um, what do you know? <laughs> we um, This is right the A uh, Probably you would agree with me. What uh, on the um, uh, on TV, one of the best teams working well, very well together. We are not the A team. We are the. That's me. <laughs> 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 I don't know. So, yeah, so they're taking fun of me. But uh, we always say that we work hard and we play hard. We will uh, have fun in the office. We have tons of nationalities within our department. Uh, but we are also going to be hard working and we're going to be successful. Um, the, we are um, uh, very much driven by targets and the goals that we need to reach. And people that we did have in our teams are, are very much winners and they are going to go for it. And we're great people. That's uh, our corporate um, a toy uh, that uh, in every office we have seen people and our department is across the other department. <laughs> so, uh, we have, we have, a, uh, sorry, we have uh, people from all around the world, four continents, 15 countries. Nationalities. We actually have more nationalities than the country because we have two people that have dual nationalities. Can you guess how many checks we have on the team? One. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, very close. <laughs> That's right. We actually have two half checks. We don't have any zero checks in our team. So, um, oh, and that's because we require a lot of languages. Italian, Dutch, English, French, German. So I myself come from Serbia and I think I'm the only Serbian in the office. So there is very different, very different nationality which makes us um, multicultural, multinational and allows us to, to be those fun and amazing people that we were there. So what does the day in the life of an NCR look like? Um, I do not know who that is, but I hope some of you do because Karen is a very popular song. From the video, we do use the code, but we don't scream at it that much. Yes, we do. We do? <laughs> okay. So, um, these are the natural things that we do. Uh, and these are uh, just a sample of the tools that we use. Really, this one would be uh, most common for you guys, Outlook. Do you use it? Um, we use um, company, uh, so uh, software like OpenShot or Hoover. We have more um, information about the company that we're calling, about the contact, um, and one, one software that we use all the time, and we live in it, well, some software, in this case, 
um, uh, is Salesforce, and that is our database. That is where we keep all the contacts and the countries and the companies that we go after. Uh, and this is our uh, tool that we use to communicate with everyone and give visibility to sales, to marketing, to any other department that you've seen there. Um, so this is just in a nutshell what we would do. I had a question earlier that said, I'm going to do some web conferences, like the way they're going to be here and we'll be able to talk to the product. Um, uh, for that, we have webinars. Uh, we still don't have the web conference where it's your face, but they definitely see uh, your presentation and what you want to what, what you do. We work very much um, strategically. We align with sales. We want them to tell us what is the industry they're targeting, what, what is it that they're looking for, so that the marketing pipeline we spoke about at the beginning uh, is actually a solid one, and one that they can progress and, and do the sales with. And of course, we deliver. As I mentioned earlier, we're very driven by targets. We reward people for doing a great job, and we have many, many different incentives to, to, to recognize that as well. A second uh, position that we're currently recruiting for is the market analyst. Um, that is a part-time position uh, suitable for students um, who work with us uh, very, very closely with NDR, which is market development representative, and they're there to work in Salesforce to uh, find out more information about the account, to profile them, to uh, to really uh, find out what those different corporations are, are, are looking for. I mean, if you pick a company like, I don't know, Bayer or ADB or any huge company, Skoda, that you know here, it is very um, time consuming and it's hard to find out all the information that you need so that you can when you come to this, you can have an educated conversation. And this is what Mark now is up with. Okay, so this is me, talking theory, right? Um, I'm, I, you can trust me, it's really good that we're fine and amazing and hard working, but you don't have to, right? That's why I brought uh, one of my colleagues, uh, who I think is a living example of what it means working for Concur. And hopefully you will hear it um, uh, from him directly and um, his staff from Concur. So I would like to welcome Gregory Kikovic to the stage.